Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Hanna Bogutska. I'm a professor at the Poznan University of Technology and a head of cooperation in Remedo Labs. Today I'd like to talk about for communication and computing for reliability, latency and cost critical IoT. So uh, let me first uh, introduce the contents of uh, my presentation. Uh, first uh, will be some words about motivation and then fork versus cloud versus edge uh, architectures for communication and computing networks. URL uh, communication and computing and 5G, 6G network based on this architecture, fork architecture. Then we will say something about the cost optimization, what the cost means and the network uberization. And finally, I will drive some conclusions and observations and future outlook. So the, my motivation is uh, that uh, according to the recent uh, Ericsson Mobility Report, there will be uh, 24.6 billion machines and devices comprising Internet of Things by 2025. And communication and computing uh, are, are uh, ultra reliable, low latency communication and computing is one of the uh, key application areas in 5G and it will be a targeted application area in 6G. Uh, neither cloud or edge uh, computing architectures are suited for URL uh, communi uh, communication and computing. And cost optimization in uh, uh, communication and computing networks is also needed. Here we should uh, say something about uh, what, uh, what I mean by the cost. Uh, the cost in general um, uh, always relates to the use of resources or assets, either financial or other. And in our case, uh, this will be communication and computing resources, such as energy, bandwidth, infrastructure, and uh, etc. cetera. Uh, um, we will, uh, there is also an important trend of uh, network uberization, which, which uh, fork uh, architecture also, uh, uh, fork architecture also uh, addresses. The cloud is commonly understood as a server offering huge uh, memory capacity for data storing, sharing, and analysis, a supercomputer uh, with optimized computing algorithms and uh, these data processing, uh, a service uh, for end devices uh, to IoT. The cloud ecosystem seems like very centralized. Uh, there are computing and storage tasks or, uh, which are delegated to the cloud data center, requiring transmission to long distances. At uh, this uh, picture here, uh, there is some public uh, data available showing uh, the cloud data centers uh, in Google and Microsoft Azure. So they, these are, uh, might be quite far from the end user, like thousands of kilometers away. On the other extreme approach uh, to the IoT communication and computing challenges uh, is the fully distributed uh, operation and organization called uh, edge computing. And in this case, uh, network, uh, networking is based on cooperation of network devices and computing uh, resource sharing. Resource sharing, the basic challenges are to assure dynamic uh, adaptation to the change in network traffic and topology, the design of uh, context aware information, uh, processing algorithms um, to facilitate dynamic uh, uh, connection and access to the network, to support cooperation and communication resources, uh, sharing, and to guarantee quality of service. So the uh, FOG architecture has been uh, considered as uh, the most uh, very, the one that is very suited to uh, to uh, IoT uh, communication and URLC communication. And it consists of uh, multiple tires. There is a, uh, a things tire, which consists of edge devices, smartphones, vehicles, robots, personal computers, sensors, and so on. The cloud tire, 
with a supercomputer, uh, with uh, very powerful uh, servers, and a fog tire with uh, computers, uh, microcomputers, uh, data centers, um, sorry, uh, uh, computer clusters, space stations, etc. So uh, uh, the, the, the fog tire, uh, it's important to know that the fog tire can have multiple hierarchical la uh, layers and that communication and cooperation between uh, them is not only vertical, but also uh, horizontal. And that this architecture incorporates multiple types uh, of links, of communication links, wireless, wired, uh, phone hole, back, back hole, and optical links with uh, their all infrastructure. So uh, on this slide, we can see some uh, uh, example applications, uh, some example services like task of loading, caching, uh, V2X communication, uh, remote control of robots, and the width of the arrows represent the amount of data that is uh, sent, to, that is uh, transmitted to various uh, code nodes. So let us start with some uh, uh, models for URL uh, communication and computing based on fog architecture and their analysis, their cost analysis. URL, as uh, uh, probably everybody knows, uh, 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 incorporate the services that uh, were end-to-end -end high, uh, ultra high reliability, reliability and low latency is required. Typical applications or uh, intelligent transportation, remote healthcare, industrial automotion, public safety and uh, monitoring, security monitoring and related data processing. It's important to stress that these uh, tasks involve uh, both communication and computing, so that they should be managed, optimized, evaluated jointly, uh, since all, both communication and computing introduce some uh, reliability issues and delay uh, issues. So here's a simple model that we, one can consider, which consists of edge, com, edge device, uh, fog node, and a cloud. And uh, the possible optimization uh, is uh, twofold. On one hand, we can have uh, optimization from the selfish battery powered edge device point of view, as well as um, uh, the optimization of the whole network. So let us first look at the optimization re, uh, results from the edge device standpoint. Uh, on this slide, we can see the power versus the distance between the edge device and the uh, fog node access point. And uh, mm, uh, the black lines are for the, uh, the power that is required for the computations and the blue line uh, is the power for the transmission. So depending on the uh, complexity of the task. Uh, one can see that this power, the computation, the power required for the computations may exceed the transmission power or by vice versa. Also on the right hand side you can see the power versus the required rate where the assumption is that the transmission rate is the same as the processing rate, so the, um, the, the processing is online. And again uh, uh, the power uh, uh, required to transmit and offload the task to the fog might dominate uh, over the power that is required to uh, process the task at the uh, site, so at the edge device. Another model that is a little bit more uh, uh, elaborated uh, is the model where uh, some tasks uh, are um, transmitted uh, to the fog and to the cloud and uh, uh, x plus y bits are transmitted to the fog and x of these tasks are computed in the fog then y, uh, y bits are transmitted to the cloud and also the results are transmitted backwards and they consist of the uh, uh, 
of M results and N results that are transmitted the appropriate uh, fog uh, nodes infra and infrastructure. So the parameters are here, but let us not concentrate. Let us look at uh, some uh, general conclusions uh, uh, from the optimization results. Here on the slides, you can see uh, the optimization that um, the power and delay, the black line uh, relates to the power uh, consumption, the red to the delay. And uh, uh, this is versus the uh, uh, fraction of task delegated to the cloud. Uh, zero means uh, uh, that uh, that uh, all uh, tasks are performed uh, at the um, fog node, while one means that all of the tasks are trans transmitted to the cloud. So from uh, here, there are, there are three scenarios: near, far, and medium. Uh, the uh, uh, near scenario means that the cloud is located uh, 100 kilometers, uh, six nodes away from the fog tire. The other scenarios, the medium scenario, means that uh, uh, the cloud uh, is uh, distanced by 2,000 kilometers and 12 nodes uh, from the fog and uh, from the fog node. And the far scenario means 8,000 kilometers and uh, 18 uh, nodes. There are a few interesting observations here. First, uh, the distance um, to the cloud plays a key role in determining whether offloading data um, all the way to the cloud is beneficial. In the new scenario, uh, utilizing cloud uh, reduces both latency and power consumption, uh, but more interesting results can be seen in the medium scenario when uh, uh, when uh, performing computations in the cloud decreases the power consumption uh, while performing them in the uh, while performing them in the fog results in lower average uh, latency. Uh, the impact of the computational complexity of requests is uh, shown here. Uh, we have, the, again, the power and the delay versus the fraction of the tasks delegated to the cloud. For easy requests, uh, their computing in the fog tire is faster and consumes less power than processing them in the cloud. Uh, the delay in power consumption caused by data sent through the core network outweighs the fact that uh, the cloud data centers are more efficient in, uh, at, the, at computing. On the contrary, uh, when the offloaded requests require heavy computations, it is when, when the hot, we have the hard requests uh, uh, equal, well, well, the requests require uh, 100 flops per bit, uh, so uh, when when the offloaded requests require, require them, the heavy computations, it is uh, a beneficial to send these requests all the way to the cloud. As hard requests mean lower com uh, lower uh, communication costs compared to the computation costs. Uh, so uh, let us now conclude. Uh, uh, there are the following observations. The computational complexity has a key role in deciding between the offloading uh, requests to the fog nodes and cloud data centers. Distance to the cloud has impact on efficiency of offloading. Uh, equipment characteristics has impact on the efficiency of the entire network. There exists trade-off between power consumption and delay. And there is a need for detailed models of energy consumption for the joint communication and computing, wired, wired and wireless communication, and uh, control for energy cost optimization. Let me also uh, make uh, two remarks uh, on the future of the fog. So first, uh, uberization uh, it's, uh, has been uh, noticed that uh, uh, 
telco are, are not the trusted uh, brands uh, as, as much as other. Uh, the global uh, brand indicators show that telco oligopoly is ready to be disrupted. So uh, since the fog nodes are capable of providing communication and computing resources and build a cooperation, your reputation, this may lead to future network liberalization. And finally, it uh, has been noticed in um, many documents for a 6G perspective that artificial intelligence will play a major role. This is expected to reside in all tiers of the fog network and uh, mm, current uh, algorithms are suited for more or less stable situation in the network while uh, the diverse uh, and changing network traffic topology and computing will call for joint communication and computing improvement uh, in those more adaptive uh, machine learning algorithms. So thank you very much for watching and I will be happy to answer some questions. Thank you very much.